I'd like to thank everybody out there for voting for me last month. Well, almost everybody. The other guy did get one vote, but that was his wife. And besides, she told me she just felt sorry for that guy. Now, I did promise you that if you voted for me, I'd come back sporting a giant iPad. Here it is. Here's a message for you, other guy, watching at home. There you go, just right on the screen, just like that. Check that out. Now, not only did all of you at home vote for me, but so did some of other guys' closest friends. Now, you remember Harvey back from those geometry lessons? The, guys who cut, the guy who kind of see things that weren't there? Well, he saw that video and he went, Giant iPad, I gotta have one of those. So I called him up, I said, hey, hey Harvey, you wanna come over here and help me out? Help me out with my first iPad video? We do some geometry problems together, and here he is. So, I'm, hey, Ar hey Harvey, how you doing? Good to see you, man, good to see you. All right, now, say hi to the students. They're, they're over there, Harvey. Y yes, they can see you. I know you can't see them, but they can, come on. Didn't another guy explain this to you? They're right over there, they can see you. All right, for forget it, forget it, Harvey. We're gonna do some math, all right? Ready to go, math? All right, let's do some problems. All right, here's our first problem. We got three squares, side lengths two, four, and six. And we put those squares side by side, just like this, and we draw a line from the bottom left corner to the upper right corner. And then we're gonna shade the part of the middle square that's below the line. It's gonna form a shaded quadrilateral right here, and that's what we have to find the area of right there, this shaded quadrilateral. No, there's, there's just one. There's only one shaded quadrilateral here, Harp. Not, not two, there's one. We're gonna find the area of the one, two? What are you talking about? Forget, we're, we're gonna find the area of this quadrilateral here. You can sit there and think about your two shaded quadrilaterals while we're finding the area of this one. So let's see, this quadrilateral, these two sides are parallel. They're parts of opposite sides of a square. So this is a trapezoid, and we know how to find the area of a trapezoid. You just take the average of the bases, and then you multiply by the height. And the height's easy. The height's just a side of the middle square, so the height is just four. And these two bases here, they're parallel. Parallel lines mean similar triangles. So we should be able to look for some similar triangles here. We've got a big triangle right here, and this side length out here is six. And we've got a little triangle here. This side is two. Let's see, oh, this side length here is part of this big square, and that's six as well. So our big triangle, the short side is six. The long side is six plus four plus two is 12. So the long side is double the short side. So over here in the little triangle, the long side's two, the short side is half that. And that's just one. And we should be able to find the other base the same way. We've got this middle triangle right in here. The short side is going to be half the long side. The long side is just four plus two. That's six. Half of six is three. So we've got our two bases. We find our average. The average of one and three is two. And we multiply by the height, which is four, and we get the area. The area is eight. Just like that. What? Two? No, come on. There's only one shaded quadrant. All right, where's this second quadrilateral? Go ahead, show me. Where's this magic sec? Hey, where'd that come from? Well, okay, two quadrilaterals. I'll just put it, oh, look at that, it fits. It's exactly the same as the first quadrilateral. Now, what am I supposed to do with that? Rotate it? What? Show me. Show, wait, what are you gonna do? Rotate? Go ahead, spin it around, show me. Oh, now what? Oh my goodness, it fits! That makes sense! Because it's the same size, size as the other one. This is three, so when we flipped it around, this is three, two, so one and three is four. It fits right in the square. We take two copies of our shaded quadrilateral, and it fits the middle square perfectly. A middle square's area is four, is four times four is 16. We just take half that, and we get the shaded quadrilateral. That's really slick, Arby. Right there, high five, yeah. All right, next problem. That was nice. All right, here we go. Vertices of a convex pentagon, and they give us the vertices. Fortunately, they drew it for us, so we don't have to do that. We have to find the area of this pentagon. I don't know any formulas for the area of such a wacky shape. Now, usually what I do on this is I try to break it up into, into pieces I know how to deal with, but I'm not sure what. Well, you don't see a pentagon? What's the pentagon? You see a rectangle and four triangles, four right triangles. I don't know, you gotta show me, Harvey. I, you, just, you just run your finger, like this, Harvey. You just run your finger on it, just like that. Just draw the rectangle. I, I don't know what you're talking about. But, uh, okay, that's that's a line. That's good, Harvey. Hey, oh, there's one of those right triangles you're talking about. <laughs> oh, there. Oh, that's so smart, Harvey. Oh, so you know my strategy. I was trying at the beginning. I was, I was going to cut the Pentagon up into pieces I, I could understand. But Harvey here, he's taking the Pentagon and saying the Pentagon is just one piece of something bigger that we know how to handle. We know how to handle a rectangle. 
there's our rectangle. This is eight, three and five is eight, and then across here we got two plus four plus three is, is nine. So the rectangle is eight by nine. The area of an eight by nine rectangle is 72. And then we have these four, these four right triangles, and we know how to find the areas of each of these. This is three times four divided by two. That's how we find the area of a right triangle. Multiply the legs, divide by two. So that's six, this one's two by five, so the area of that's gonna be five. This one up here is two by five as well, two, five, two times five divided by two, it's also five. And then this last right triangle, and three times six is 18, divided by two is nine. So the total area of all of our little right triangles here is five plus five is 10, nine plus six is 15, 10 and 15 is 25. So to find the pentagon, we start with the rectangle, we chop out the triangles, subtract them off, 72 minus 25 leaves us a total area of 47. That's very nice. Now, on this next, this next problem here, Harvey, this is what I was telling you about. I wanted to tell them my super secret area finding technique, so I got this one, all right? Here we go. Trapezoid A, B, C, D faces 20 and 30. So I'm going to start off by drawing the trapezoid. There we go. There's our trapezoid. And that's A, B, C, D. And we know that the short side has length 20, and the long side has length 30. There we go. And we have diagonals. We'll get to those. We have diagonals that intersect the x, and the area of the trapezoid is 300. And we want to find the area of triangle BXC. And that's a little scary. We don't know anything about triangle BXC. Usually, you find the area of a triangle, you find base times the height, right, and then take half. But we don't know any of the side lengths of triangle BXC. So how are we going to find its area? First, we're going to focus on the triangles we can figure something out about. We'll draw one of the diagonals, and we have two triangles. And we at least know something about these triangles. We know their bases. This one's 20. This one's 30. And we know the height to this base. You know, for triangle ABC, the height from C to AB is the same as the height of the trapezoid. We're just going to call that H for now. So we can write the area of ABC, the area of ABC is half its base, base is 20, so half of that's 10, times the height. And we know that the height is just the same as the height of the trapezoid. We're calling that h. The brackets mean area. They mean area, Harvey. You got that? Brackets, that means area of ABC. You got that too? Brackets, that means area. So now, for the trapezoid, we know the area of the trapezoid. The area of the trapezoid is the average of the bases times the height. The average of the bases here is 25, and the height is still just h. So we can write that down too, the area of ABCD is 25h. And now we can find the height. Now we can find the height using this, yeah, that's, that's right, Harvey. We don't really didn't even have to find the height, right? Because, well, we don't have to find the height because we know that ABC is 10h. The area of ABCD is 25h. So we know the ratio of these two. We know that ABC is just 2 fifths ABCD. We don't even have to find the height. We know that ABC is two-fifths of ABCD here. We can just see that just from the ratio of these areas right there. And we know that that area is 300. So we know that the area of ABC is 120. And that's great, because ABC is not the triangle we care about. But the triangle we care about is part of ABC. The triangle we care about, we draw the second diagonal, is right here is this triangle here. And this triangle has something very important in common with ABC. And here's my super secret area finding technique. You're going to dig this, Harvey. All right? Triangle BXC has the same altitude from B as triangle ABC. You see that? This triangle, BX, BXC, has the same altitude from B as triangle BAC. And that means that their areas, the ratio of their areas, is just the ratio of their bases. So I take the ratio of their areas. The altitude is the same in both cases. So that just equals the ratio of their bases, xc to ac. So now all we have to do is find, find this ratio. Now look at these two triangles. These two triangles, parallel lines mean similar triangles. CXD is similar to triangle AXB, and the ratio is 2 to 3, short to long. So the ratio of AX to 
to Cx is 2 to 3. So the ratio of Cx to Ac is 3 to 3 plus 2, which is 5. So the ratio here is 3 fifths. So the triangle we care about is 3 fifths of triangle ABC. So our answer is just 3 fifths of 120. And 3 fifths of 120, 1 fifth of it is 24. Multiply by 3, and we get 72. Pretty slick, huh, Harvey? OK. He just says, OK. This is my super secret area of finding technique. And he says it's OK. Ah, there's just no pleasing some people. Well, I hope you were pleased, because this is, this is a really powerful technique. And you'll see, you'll see on the, uh, the activity sheet, you can prove some really powerful theorems that don't even look like they're about area, just using my super secret technique. You're going to like that. And you have all summer to work on it, and you can come back next year and show it to me. So you can come back next year, and you'll see my big giant iPad some more. Now, during that summer, you've got to make yourself some team t-shirts and send them my way, because I've only got this one. I need a whole lot more. So you send me the t-shirts, and if you're coming to nationals, you can bring me one. You can bring me one just in a week or two. And when you bring me a t-shirt, I'm going to give you an AOPS pin. That's right. If you bring me a t-shirt, I give you a pin. All right? Thanks a lot, and I will see you next year. What are you doing, Harvey? Harvey, come on. What, what, what are you doing? What, Harvey? Harvey, we're going to be late. Come on. Harvey. Harvey, what are you talking about, B plus? Oh, let's see you do any better. What? What are you doing, Harvey? What's the... Harvey is so awesome. What? What? Uh, what is that? What is this, Harvey? I mean, this is math class. We're doing math here. It's not a coloring book. We're not doing art class. What's... The solution? This is the solution to the... What do you mean, two-fifths of three-fifths of... Ah. Come on, look, we're going to go. We're, this, is the, this is the easy way to do this. The way to just see the answer, that's what you're telling me? Come on, what... Oh, my goodness. It is the easy way to see the... This is amazing, Harvey. The blue triangles. They're just two-fifths of three-fifths of the whole thing. That's amazing. My man is wicked smart.